morning to you my bananas it's Brianna and welcome back to my kitchen today is st. Patrick's Day and as all of you guys know on st. Patrick's Day we all have to wear green so you don't get pinched and we all have to make and consume green colored foods so st. Patrick doesn't get you so today I'm gonna make you a nice green dinner so you can fulfill your St. Patrick dreams <laughs> okay so let me get all my stuff out here we go so I'm gonna make you some pesto pasta with some salmon and shrimp and kale and broccoli and it's all green so let's get started just to remind you all, I only have one burner. So I have pasta to boil, I have pesto to make, and I have seafood and vegetables to saute. So first, I'm gonna make the pesto. Now, don't get on my case. <laughs> Instead of making fresh pesto, I'm gonna use this packet because it's really easy, very simple. It has all my herbs in there. All I need to do is add some water and olive oil and boil it. So part of the point of my videos is to help make things easier for you guys, but really delicious, okay? So this brand, Nur. Sounds like an Australian saying no. <laughs> oh, nur. <laughs> I really like this brand. They also have creamy pesto. So if you wanted, you can use creamy pesto also. Alrighty. Alrighty. The pesto's gotta boil for five minutes. So I got an electric kettle the other day. The other day, it was like a couple weeks now. I've been using it every single day, multiple times a day. So if you guys don't have an electric kettle and you're in my kind of situation, I suggest an electric kettle. So I filled it up and I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna boil all that water so it's ready for my spaghettis. So I'm also gonna prep my broccoli and kale. Hopefully you guys know how to cut up broccoli in the bite-sized pieces. Hopefully you guys know how to cut everything in the bite-sized pieces and you're not choking on all your food. Cut up the broccoli however big you want it. Just make sure it's all uniform so it all cooks at the same time, the same pace. Kale, if you've never cooked with it, um, you kind of just take the fluffy part off of the stem. It's very easy. Just cut it right off of there. Now it's a big old bush in my hand. <laughs> so I'll take this, cut it really small. Kale can be really bitter if you don't cook it long enough or like with any seasoning or anything. So just make sure you're cooking it down long enough so it's like not tough anymore. It'll be nice and tender. Don't cook it too long because then all the nutrients go away. Pesto's done, I'm gonna move it over to the side. The lid on. So next I'm gonna boil my pasta. Don't judge me again. I break my spaghetti in half. Just so it all fits in the pot all at once. It's all cooking evenly. I don't have to wait for it to soften and then push it in the water. Just put it all in the pot doesn't matter how long your noodles are. Well, it does 
but they're still long. <laughs> so anyways, while that's boiling, I'm gonna prep my shrimp. The salmon, I'm just gonna cook as is, and then once it's done, I'm gonna peel the skin off and I'm just gonna flake it up. So not much to prep there. The shrimp though, I like to get the peeled devein shrimp, but it still has tails on it. So I'm just gonna take the tails off the shrimp and then cut them in half. And that's all I'm gonna do with the shrimp. Okay, my pasta has been boiled. So what I'm gonna do, these veggies, I have them in a bowl. I'm gonna drain a little bit of this pasta water into my veggies so I can parboil them or par cook them. Dump the rest out. We've got prepped veggies, we got prepped pesto, we got prepped pasta. Little bit of olive oil on that so it doesn't stick. Now finally our seafood. Alright. Butter is melted. I'm gonna put my salmon in the pan. For seasonings, salt and pepper. Because of the pesto. You don't want it to be like overpoweringly seasoned. I don't know if I ever told you guys the story, but when I was little, when I was a kid, I used to go to church with my mom. Um, not so much these days, but anyways, we went there for a church function on St. Patrick's Day. There was like a big, uh, what do you call it? Potluck, of course. It was a potluck. So everybody brought their own food, and we ate each other's food, okay? I got, to, of course, a lot of things were green. I got a piece of green ham thinking it was green on purpose, okay? I ate this ham, and it was like a spoiled tasting, and it was like just so gross the most disgusting ham I've ever eaten and it really turned me off ham for a while so that is a St. Patrick's Day I will never forget <laughs> so I flipped over my salmon so I'm gonna toss in my shrimpies I'm also gonna toss in my veggies just get it all in there a little more salt and pep. So I'm gonna get this nice and cooked. I'm gonna toss all this stuff together and then we're gonna do a taste test. I'm actually gonna add some red pepper flakes too. So I'll come right back. Oakley doakleys. Let me give you a closer look. It's not as green as I imagined, but you know, we've got the broccoli and the kale and the flux of what was in the pesto. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna try to grab something, each little thing. This is actually a lot better tasting <laughs> than I imagined. Um, it's not as like, I thought it was gonna be like more lemony or something, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> but it's a good like herby balance. 
the seafood like keeps it light tasting broccoli and the kale is a good addition everything is cooked perfect <laughs> All right, cool. I'm glad this turned out good. Make sure there's no green stuff in my teeth. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you don't get pinched or attacked by St. Patrick or anything like that. And I hope you like and subscribe. Please subscribe, share with your friends. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and I'm almost to 200. So, thanks. See you next week with another video. Bye-bye.